What's up you guys and welcome back to another Who Wants To Be. So in this Who Wants To Be, we are gonna be talking about occupational therapists and that profession. So if you are interested in becoming an occupational therapist, this video is for you. In this video, we are going to go over all of the usual questions, which are what are occupational therapists? What do they do? How do you become an occupational therapist? How long does it take to become an occupational therapist? And how much do they make. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So as usual, this is another Who Wants To Be and we're gonna be hitting those five top questions. And if you guys have any other questions for me on each of these professions, I will always leave a link to their respective um, professional website. And uh, you can always ask me questions in the comment section below. So what are occupational therapists? Occupational therapists are part of the allied health community. Now these particular healthcare professionals assist patients and help them build or restore their ability to perform their daily activities. Now, I know that sounds pretty familiar because it kind of sounds like physical therapists and what physical therapists do, but we are going to be getting into the next section which talks about what occupational therapists do, and I will break that down so that you can see the little differences and the nuances between physical therapists and occupational therapists. So like I said before, physical therapy and occupational therapy, it kind of sounds very similar. And that's because they work in tandem. Like in my hospital, the physical therapist and the occupational therapist kind of share a space. They work together um, because they are about helping our patients get back to an assemblance of who they used to be. Now in physical therapy, if you remember from my physical therapy video, and if you have not seen that video on who wants to be a physical therapist, the link is right here, make sure you go check that out. But physical therapists are called movement specialists. While on the other hand, occupational therapists help with not only assisting our patients with movement, but assisting them with getting back to their daily or, or their activities of daily living, as we call it in healthcare. So what does that exactly mean? If you have a child with a you know, developmental disability or you have an older person that is now having like cognitive delays or decline because of dementia or Alzheimer's or you have one of our patients that come in as a trauma and have a particular bone that's broken, be it in their upper extremity, left or right. Occupational therapists work with our patients to help them be able to manage their activities of daily living. So if you broke your right arm and you're like, okay, I'm right-handed, how am I going to write or eat or bathe myself um, because I'm right-hand dominant, then the occupational therapist will give you various different activities and therapies to use to be able to actually learn how how to put your hand through your shirt or in your shirt over your head um, when you have an arm that is essentially a little bit out of capacity. Uh, they help the students that are in school uh, function socially and academically, like learning how to do different tips and tricks to help those students that may have developmental disabilities thrive in school. So their job is actually pretty important because they work over various different areas, be it a acute care, like inpatient hospital, outpatient in the school setting, or in a skilled nursing facility. So how do you become an occupational therapist? So to become an occupational therapist, you first have to gain an undergraduate bachelor's degree. Now, there are gonna be various different prerequisite requirements as with any school that has like a graduate program, they're gonna have to be prerequisite requirements that you're gonna have to go through, but you can find out all of those various different prerequisite requirements by simply going to the occupational therapy um, application site. It will have a list of all of their participating programs and then you can just click on those different programs, put them into a Google search and see what their prerequisite requirements are. So I'm gonna leave that for you here on the screen and then also in the description 
inbox. You can also go to the Occupational Therapy Association's website to find out more information about the various different paths that you can take to become an occupational therapist. But after you complete your bachelor's degree and the prerequisite requirements to actually apply to this graduate program, you will then decide if you want to do a master's in occupational therapy or a doctorate in occupational therapy. Now the doctorate in occupational therapy is their terminal degree. Uh, so a lot of there are a lot of schools that are popping up with if you've already had your master's in occupational therapy, you can then go to this particular program to get your doctorate because that is where the profession is heading. So uh, if you do want to be doctor such and such, uh, this is a path that you can take. Um, you can get your doctorate in occupational therapy. Uh, and then after you've gotten your doctorate or you've completed your schooling, you would also need to ensure that you have gotten your field work done. And for like the profession of becoming like a physical therapist or a PA, um, that field work is rotations. Uh, that is our second year of schooling. Uh, and as, as much of the same with occupational therapy, you would have to go work with other occupational therapists that are licensed and practicing uh, so that you can hone the skills that you've been learning while attending your program. After you've completed that field work, you would then need to become certified and take the board exam, and then you would be eligible to gain your license in whatever particular state you live in. So how long does all of this schooling take? And so, I mean, it's, I don't think it takes that long, but I think uh, if you are looking at it from start to finish, then it can take, it, in somebody's mind, it can take very long. But essentially, you would have to complete four years of your undergraduate degree and then either two or three years of your postgraduate degree. There are obviously, you can always continue your medical education and do more learning, but the typical standard is seven years, I would say, of schoolwork. Uh, but if you already have a bachelor's degree, you've already gotten that out of the way, then it would only be two to three years, which is a typical master's or doctor degree. The final question that everybody's been waiting for, how much do they make? So for 2022, the US News always comes out with their, um, you know, top 100 or so jobs in the nation. And the occupational therapist uh, profession has actually been ranked number 11. They on average make a little bit more than $86,000 a year. So that number specifically, if you want to know, is $86,280, which is actually pretty good. Obviously, this is a median, so there are people that make less and people that make more. It all depends on what you're like, where you're working, who you're working for, all of those different things going into a, you need to be taken into consideration. But I think $86,000 is a decent amount of money. Um, it can be two people's salaries and um, I think that that's really a good outlook, especially with the way that our economy is going right now because if y'all didn't know, we're in a recession. <laughs> All right, so um, hopefully you like this video. If you want to see another who um, wants to be on a particular profession, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'm thinking of either doing a certified nurse anesthetist or maybe a respiratory therapist. So tell me which one you want to see first. All right, if you haven't already done so, like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Adon the PA, and on Instagram at Get That C University, where we help you not only get into, but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.